Fibrous joint, Wikipedia audio. Fixed joints are connected by dense connective tissue, consisting mainly of collagen. These are fixed joints where bones are united by a layer of white fibrous tissue of varying thickness. In the skull the joints between the bones are called sutures. Such immovable joints are also referred to as synarthroses. Most fibrous joints are also called fixed or immovable, because they do not move. These joints have no joint cavity and are connected via fibrous connective tissue. The skull bones are connected by fibrous joints called sutures. In fetal skulls the sutures are wide to allow slight movement during birth. They later become rigid. Types Some of the long bones in the body such as the radius and ulna in the forearm are joined by a syndesmosis. Syndemoses are slightly movable. The distal tibia fibular joint is another example. Agomphosis is a joint between the root of a tooth and the socket in the maxilla or mandible. A suture is a type of fibrous joint that is only found in the skull. The bones are bound together by Sharpie's fibers. A tiny amount of movement is permitted at sutures, which contributes to the compliance and elasticity of the skull. These joints are synarthroses. It is normal for many of the bones of the skull to remain unfused at birth. The fusion of the skull's bones at birth is known as craniosynostosis. The term fontanelle is used to describe the resulting soft spots. The relative positions of the bones continue to change during the life of the adult, which can provide useful information in forensics and archaeology. In old age, cranial sutures may ossify completely. The joints between the teeth and the joint between the mandible and the cranium, the temporomandibular joint, form the only non-sutured joints in the skull. Most sutures are named for the bones they articulate, but some have special names of their own. Lambdoid suture Coronal suture Squamosal suture Zygomaticotemporal suture Sagittal suture Sutures Sagittal suture Sagittal suture Top view of cranial suture Asyndesmosis is a slightly movable fibrous joint in which bones such as the tibia and fibula are joined together by connective tissue. Examples include the distal tibia fibular joint as well as the radio ulnar joint. Injuries to the ankle syndesmosis are commonly known as a high ankle sprain. Although the syndesmosis is a joint, in the literature the term syndesmotic injury is used to describe injury of the syndesmotic ligaments. It comes from the Greek sigma nu, syn and delta epsilon sigma mu, desmos. Syndesmosis sprains have received increasing recognition during recent years because of a heightened awareness of the mechanism, symptoms, and signs of injury. Diagnosis of syndesmosis injuries by physical examination is often straightforward. Physical examination findings that are often positive include the squeeze test and the external rotation test. Patients with high-grade syndesmosis injuries often cannot perform a single leg heel raise. Patients report pain over the anterior and often posterior distal fibular joint. The severity of acute syndesmosis injury is rated from grade I to 3 by several authors. A grade I injury is a partial antero-inferior tibia fibular ligament tear meaning the exorotation and squeeze tests are negative for this grade. Grade 2 injury is a complete antero-inferior tibia fibular ligament and inferior interosseous ligament tear, meaning that squeeze test and exorotation are positive. This results in the injury being stabilized with immobilization but not operatively stabilized. 
A grade 3 injury is a complete antero-inferior tibia fibular ligament tear including a interosseous ligament tear and deltoid ligament avulsion, meaning the joint is unstable and positive on the exorotation and squeeze tests. This grade requires operative stabilization. If the syndesmosis is torn apart as result of bone fracture, surgeons will sometimes fix the relevant bones together with a syndesmotic screw, temporarily replacing the syndesmosis, or with a titrope fixation, which is called syndesmosis procedure. The screw inhibits normal movement of the bones and, thereby, the corresponding joint. When the natural articulation is healed, the screw may be removed. The titrope fixation with elastic fiber wire suture on the other hand allows physiologic motion of the ankle and may be permanent. Agomphosis, also known as a dentoalveolar syndesmosis, is a joint that binds the teeth to bony teeth sockets in the maxillary bone and mandible. The fibrous connection between a tooth and its socket is a periodontal ligament. Specifically, the connection is made between the maxilla or mandible to the cementum of the tooth. Types of sutures List of sutures The motion of agomphosis is minimal, though considerable movement can be achieved over time the basis of using braces to realign teeth. The joint can be considered a synarthrosis. Visible from the side Visible from the front or above. Visible from below or inside. Gallery. Syndesmosis. The gomphosis is the only joint type in which a bone does not join another bone, as teeth are not technically bone. In modern, more anatomical, joint classification, the gomphosis is simply considered a fibrous joint because the tissue linking the structures is ligamentous. A gomphosis is a specialized fibrous joint in which a conical process or peg of one bone fits into a hole or socket in another bone. Small quantity of fibrous tissue holds the bones together. No movement is possible at such peg and socket joints. Diagnosis of a syndesmotic injury Syndesmotic tear Gomphosis, 